on this file and draft on this, like it's all the parts have some draft on them. Mm -hmm. So when that inlet, it, as it goes down, it gets tighter. Okay, yeah. So we get a nice, uh, nice tape fit. fit down there. Then. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Two hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are so much fun to put in. It's, they are uh, interesting to put in on a gun that's all square in the blank like these are over here. Mm -hmm. And then when you got everything rounded off, we need I need to find a measuring tool and I gotta mark some parking center on. That's I think the set triggers are standard in the mountain oh, okay. rifle. But they do work in this one if you set it up properly. Here's that hole there for the. Okay, now we need to establish a bank on it. Okay. Great. Staying inside the lines. Yeah. You can see why you like the little hammer. It's the right size. Yeah. Any bigger than that when I miss, I hurt my finger. Watching people build guns has got to be like watching paint dry. <laughs> Especially when you're doing something like this, just talking out of spot. Trigger guard thing. or trigger plate. Do something fancy before we do that. All right. Fancy. Let's go have some fancy. Okay. So what are you looking for? Show me what you're looking for. Okay, look down that hole down in there. Yes. Okay, see, it's, you can barely just see one of the, probably this. Yes, yes. Okay, then when you flip it, see it comes up. Oh, uh, yes. Your sear, look at your lock plate, that's real close to the bottom of the hole. Mm -hmm. And there still has to be enough room for that, I guess, when it's all the way in there. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it really can't be touching the sear bar. We will probably eventually have to take more off of the, the top of the trigger okay. bar, but for now this will... This will get us. We're gonna inlet the rest of the guts in here now.
by today's standards, we leave as much wood in, in here as we possibly can mm -hmm. for structural support. Right, sure. But then when you take old guns apart, you'll find out that they just hogged it out. You made a big hole in there. Big, ugly hole, just like the lock inlet. Mm -hmm. So we're probably way too picky today than what they were in the old days, but that's the way we are. Let's find it somewhere. Better take that uh, right there. I want to give you a Sandy theory, what Sandy is really all about. Yeah. It's not about wood removal. It's about taking out tool marks, essentially, the first time. And then you get that, you get that all fans out with 220. And you can even start whiskering then with the 220. All you're going to do is take wood mark. You're not going to remove wood. That's not the not really the purpose of sanding. Uh, so, chatter marks, tooling marks, yeah. rough spots. Yeah, you're, you're, you're making everything, you're taking out tool marks. And you're, you're going to want to, I'm sure Wayne just told you, you're going to want to stay away from this edge here. Come up to it, but don't lower that edge because then your tree right, is going to stand out real proud of the wood. You don't want that. And you've got, uh, got your barrel in, everything's good there. Personally, when I sand out a gun stock, I'll put the butt plate on the gun. Oh, yeah. Don't you put all these back on now that I've got these all No, popped. I wouldn't oh, put this on. I don't care. Put the butt stock, yeah. Yep, I put the uh, put the butt plate on so you don't lose yeah. the top part yeah. and you're yeah. narrow. All of a sudden, when you get to yeah, the sanding, yeah, I'm stepping it. The butt plate will be proud of the rest of it. I put the butt plate on, take the pipes off, Do you like it? and then start your sanding. You, you'll probably want to get these pins trimmed, trimmed down. Right, so I'll put them out. back in. I'll, I'll make them permanent. Mm -hmm. so, but leave the barrel in too when you're sanding. So the barrel in, butt plate on, pipes off. And you go into your, okay. your sand and start with 220. I hate to miss the opportunity to do a little like something fancy to it, but kind of like a plane. That's fine. Uh, really, the only thing I would do uh, with these mountain guns is just Put uh, four stock molding and a butt stock molding. You've seen the pictures last night. Very, they're just like likely not to have that. Yeah, they are two half. So it's really up to you. I didn't even like it. I am careful. Yep, that was fine. And so you're right to say that. We're going to chuck these some new stock up in a in a drill and we're going to use it like a Kentucky drill or a milling machine yeah. or a lathe and we're going to put, lay a file on this to thin them up a little bit okay. and you'll need uh, you need rounded tips like a little tapered tip on these. Okay. That'll, 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 looks, that'll like it, looks like I just made a nail. Yeah. We need a little tapered tip on that okay. so it, it'll follow the hole. But this, this is very saveable. It's not a problem. And uh, when you fix something like this, you stain the breakout, all the edges of the breakout here. Okay. So that way, it completely dis. You put the glue on clear, and then you it will completely disappear when okay. you stain the gun. Yeah, You'll never see it. Right. Otherwise, the, the stain, the glue will prevent the stain, right? Right. Yeah. So we're going to stain it now. That's neat. And glue glue it down, and then it'll be. You won't even know it's there. Right. Okay, so we've got this done. Okay. The stain is dry. All right. Uh, I like Gorilla Glue, glue Super Glue. Okay. Super great stuff. You gash your finger wide open. Yeah. You hurry quick, do this, go get your Super Glue, undo it, smear the Super Glue on. And you're good to go. Days. Days later, it falls off and your finger's still on. Yep. Works, works great for uh, when you're engraving, push engraving, and you run the engraver Three. from this side and then it comes out yeah. this side yeah. Yeah. you pull it out and you just put super glue on both sides and it's good you stop squirting ah. good you stained it beforehand you stained it yeah. to, to the, the glue hole 
The glue okay. will be the same color as the as the stain this way. Yeah. Uh, not challenging, seek and understand. So if gorilla expands, why not just straight epoxy that doesn't expand to the same degree? Mm, this is gorilla glue super glue. It's a brand of super glue. It's actually a super glue. It's, it's not gorilla. It's not that. Yeah, it's not, it's not that. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. So what we did is, or my duty, when we went ahead and pushed it on through. Okay. Yeah, it, we just made it ugly, but it'll go away. Yeah. There's no way to get it back down. So push the pin on through. The pin had gotten, I knew I'd wallow that out a little bit, but it wasn't even in that same hole. It was making this new hole. So as I was pushing it out, it was acting like a really horrible nail. Yeah, it was finding its own way. <laughs> and in the moment, I, I should have stopped the moment I felt resistance. Actually, yeah, and if you find the same thing with the uh, barrel pins, yeah. same deal. Yeah. Full stop. Jack was like, you're not going to screw that thing up, are you? And then when I, op I opened it and showed her the wood, like, you're not going to break that, are you? I said, no, <laughs> there'll be professionals around me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> So you can send her a picture of this. See what happens when I'm not supervised? That's right. <laughs> okay. All right. So now, okay. So the other thing, what I did, because I was going out, I, I put them in this way mm -hmm. and I pushed it on through. So I flipped it around. So this one I'm taking out. It's it's coming out. Okay. But it, was, it was also, I mm -hmm. felt, you know, a little. So. This one out yet? No, no, haven't even started that one. Okay. All right, so. This time you'll have a direct, direct adult supervision. Yeah. <laughs> and I can actually see the pin on this oh, one. That's, that's good. But it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Good. Let's just pull it out. Right okay. There. All right, so what you're doing with me, pull it out, mm -hmm. you're just grabbing a little bit. And you can even grab that and then just tap that with them. Oh, that way. Mm -hmm. It's like pulling a tooth. Okay. Oh, yeah. We'll take that off tomorrow and it'll be all better. Uh, I just filled a freaking ramrod hole with that. Cool. All right, God. Uh, do you believe in God and yeah. all that? Needle. See how it works. We got our pewter. Get ready. He whispered something about belief in God, and we all showed up. On that gas. For eighty years. I think it years. This is the higher entertainment part right here. <laughs> this is either where it fired up and hit that thing. Golly, Mr. Wayne, what are you doing now? No question. He's making it up as he goes to the That's just what I do. All doing. right. Now what? We're going to heat this up. Did you try pouring out of that thing yet? Nope. Gonna, this is going to be oh. my virgin attempt. Oh, good job. Wow. Get that, give me that mallet. What you? That mat, that's leather head hand. When I pour, don't you lightly tap tap on that barrel. Just give it a try. Oh. Stop. So is it a bore plug now? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, oh, God of beer. Quite impressed. Oh. You, uh, you, ain't gonna be, you ain't gonna be impressed until it's done. All right. You always <laughs> recommend using a pipe cap for that, or no? I would have <laughs> dropped my own ladle if I'd have known. That poured pretty good out of there. Yeah, I was pretty impressed. Yeah, it, it, this is this is this is Woodbury style, man. Bears. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Are you recording for education? Ta da! Got wow. a little hole right there. Oh wow! Impressed. Got a little hole right there. We don't, I don't know what we're gonna do with it. But. And then what do you do? Say, <laughs> well, that's as good as it gets, or what? Oh, I'd leave it that way if it was mine. Mike Brooks is in charge. This is his show, not mine. <laughs> what did What did you use to? 
How are you going to load it? It's a muscle loader. You need muscles. You don't have a bore anymore. So you just file that off and say, oh, I see it's... Well, how do you do that? What? Get back to the barrel again. We'll pop the barrel out and then we'll we'll uh, take a saw and cut that off. Wow. Look at that. It's almost like you tried. Mm -hmm. I'm very impressed. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I could good. have been the biggest fool in French, you know. <laughs> I, 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 I've heard people say that you can with a soldering iron and some more of your material. I'm sure. Like yeah, that. I, I think so. Heard it. I've never seen it. I'm so, sure. So seriously, on the on you as far as getting back from barrel. Oh, okay. So here's a barrel down here. Mm -hmm. I put that paper towel in the barrel so it wouldn't go in the hole. That's pretty clever. And what? Well, that's because I've otherwise you'd have filled the whole barrel. See, see that hole there. Mm -hmm. Oh, one, of, one of my genius tricks was filling a damn ramrod hole full of this stuff. <laughs> yeah, you can't solve that one. <laughs> can't drill it back out again either, huh? Actually, what happened is the stuff shrunk cool. back after it cooled. Oh, it out. But I thought, all right, brother, let's pull these pins out. I'm going to have to water stand thick about that.